Well, I'll begin by uh, saying thank you for uh, saving my life, essentially. Uh, I'd like to, uh, well, first of all, my name is Joe. My wife and I, Debbie, uh, we just celebrated our uh, 45th wedding anniversary. And we have uh, three kids, nine grandkids. So the point there is uh, not to bore you with my family uh, history, but I have a great deal to live for. So, um, and throughout my life, I never paid a, a lick of attention to skin cancer or any kind of you know blemishes other than to you know cover something up so I could still be good looking so <laughs> so uh, about two years ago I had my doc refer me to a dermatologist to uh, simply uh, remove some warty tissues on my side of my uh, nose near my eye and the good doc uh, said well yeah I can freeze those but those aren't really the problem because you've got um, some blemishes that are precancerous cells, you know, maybe four or five of them are on my face. I go, oh, really? Okay, so he freezes those, and that started a regular checkup. So, you know, I come in a year later, and, and uh, you know, uh, Samantha finds a couple of little things, and they freeze them off. And so, bottom, long story short, uh, about, what, two months ago, six weeks ago, I came in to do a check, and uh, I had a couple things on my back. I thought maybe it were an issue, but not a big deal. They were nothing, just froze them off. And, but then um, Sam finds a little blemish right here on my chest that, I thought, well, nothing, you know? So she starts getting out the little tool and starts cutting on me, and I go, oh, what's that? You know, so she's gonna do a biopsy. And lo and behold, you know, I get a call, you know, what, two weeks later or whenever. It says, you know, it tested positive. And I go, well, you gotta be kidding, you know? So, so I come in and, uh, you know, she says, well, you, you can either get surgery, you know, and have this thing removed or, you know, you, you risk really greater consequences uh, down the road. So the, the very next day, um, uh, Dr. Anderson, you know, uh, sliced it open, removed it, biopsy came back uh, in situ, so got it all. Um, but your point during surgery was that Sam saved my life because she found something that, in fact, I had a uh, physical two months ago, and my doc, who sort of looked me over, didn't see anything. So, so I want to just say thank you to all of you. Everyone here has been, you know, friendly, professional, um, welcoming. Um, so. Uh, and like I said earlier, uh, I've never paid any attention to skin issues. So for anybody watching this uh, out there that, uh, that may be concerned at all, I recommend at least yearly appointments. Go see a doc and uh, I recommend Dr. Anderson and, and all of you, his, his family here at Colorado Durham. So thank you. Again, thank you for thank you for saving my life. So, would you like to ring the bell? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, you know it's it's really interesting. Um, his melanoma was so small when I looked at the picture, I could barely see it. And and sometimes when um, when we are doing these full body skin exams when we are looking at patients and saying, why are we biopsying this? Why are we having them come back? Why are we, you know, do these things? It's because people, if they have enough sun damage in their lives and the right complexion for that, we need to keep a close eye on them. And so all of these things, everything from scheduling to tracking people when they've been here to making sure they come back for their skin exams, each one of these quote unquote mundane details that we do could impact someone's life and children, grandchildren. And what we're trying to do with these experiences of having people come in and talk to us about what we found, what their experience was like, is to somehow cement with emotion the idea that every seemingly mundane task could affect somebody's ability to live. Even scheduling, if you're scheduling and you don't have a smile on your voice and the patient's like, ah, eh, 
they're being, they're being mean or they're being absent or they're being whatever, that might influence them to not come in and not get checked. And those have huge ramifications for everything. So thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for giving us your experience. It gives us something to think about everything that we do.